Welcome back to Business Office Specialist. In today's video, I want to look at the print and print preview features inside of Google Docs. Now, unlike some other programs, Google Docs does not have a separate menu option for print preview and print. The print preview is built inside of the print option. You can find the print command on the ribbon bar on the left hand side right here. It looks kind of like a printer. Makes sense. You can also find it in the menus under File. If you go to File and all the way down to the bottom, Print is the very last option. You can also use the shortcut key, Control P. So those are a few of the different ways that you can access the print menu. Once you open the print menu, on the left hand side it's going to give you a preview of what your print job is going to look like. Now, when I'm showing you this, I'm assuming that you'll be using Google Chrome as your web browser to access Google Docs. If you access it using a different browser, this screen may look differently because this screen is prompted by the browser and not the software. But inside of Google Chrome, this is what it looks like. So on the left hand side, we see a preview of what our document is going to look like once it's printed. On the right hand side, we have all of our options for printing. The destination is the printer that you want to print to. So if you're going to be printing at work or in a classroom, you'll want to find out from your teacher what the name of the printer is and make sure that you print to that one. You can also select how many pages you're going to print. So in this case, we only have a one page document, so that's easy. But if you have multiple pages, sometimes you only want to print a few of the pages in the middle of your document. So you can come to the pages section, select custom and type in a range or specific page that you want printed in your document. So ranges can use dashes, so I could print page one through five. I could pay, print page one, three, five, and seven. Or uh, any combination of different pages that you're looking for using dashes and commons to separate them. Now this was throwing error messages at me because I was trying to print a range greater than the number of pages that we had because we only have one page here. So I'm just going to go back and select all. You can also select how many copies of the print that you want and then most of the time those are the only settings in a print situation that we'll be using but there are some additional settings that you can use if you want to. So down in the more settings you can select the paper size. Usually we use 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper, which are considered letter sized papers, but if you have a different size, you can select it there. You can also select how many pages per sheet you want printed. This can be really useful if, for example, you're trying to print and staple together a small book. Uh, you can add two pages per sheet, or um, oftentimes I'm looking to print uh, flyers that are four to a page, so little quarter page flyers that I can hand out to students uh, for different clubs or activities that we're doing. And it's a lot easier for me to create the flyer on one page and have the entire page available to me. And then I can print that and post it on my walls and things like that. And then just duplicate that across four pages and then go into the print settings and tell it to print four per page and it will adjust the size perfectly to have four per page for me to cut out for handout flyers. So that's a feature I like to use from time to time, um, especially when I'm doing books or flyers. And then you can also change your margin settings. Oftentimes I change those uh, in the settings of the document itself, and we'll look at how to do that later on. Or you can change the quality or the scale of it. Um, again, most of these are settings that I don't change. The printer already has them set up for me. So for today, I'm not going to have this computer hooked up to a printer, so I'm just going to change the destination to save as a PDF. So Google Chrome does have the ability to basically print, if you will, to a PDF document instead of a actual file. So for our example today, I'm just going to print this to a PDF. I'm going to select all of my pages and just print one copy of it. Once I click save instead of print now because we're saving to a PDF, it will prompt me to create a name for this document. I'm just going to call this uh, 16 things about me. I'll back out the Google Docs extension that it adds to the end of that. And then I'm putting this in my downloads folder by default and I'm clicking save. 
So now that document is saved to uh, a PDF version. The advantage to a PDF versus having it in a Google Doc is if I decide to share this with someone, it is not editable. And it can be downloaded by them and shared and looked at without editing it very easily. So that's usually why I use a PDF document. So now that I have saved this document out to a PDF, the next thing that I want to do is upload that PDF into my BOSS folder in my Google Drive so that I have a copy of that PDF file available for me. So I'm going to close the document and there are a couple of different ways that you can upload a document. If you have your folder where the document is located uh, up in front of you, I can click and drag and you'll see it highlights in blue. Once I release my mouse, it will upload this directly to Google Drive. So that's one way that you can do it. Another way that you can upload documents to Google Drive if you want to is to right click in the white space, not on an, an item itself, but in the white space in your folder and then choose upload a file. At that point it will bring you to a file pop-up where you can select the folder it's located in and select the file to upload. So either way if you want to drag it into your boss folder or if you want to right click and select upload file and do it that way, um, whichever way you want to do that we want to upload that into our boss folder so then we have it available uh, if to turn it in if you're in my Canvas course or just to have a copy of that available in your BOSS folder. So just a quick review. Today we learned how to use the Print and Print Preview options. As a reminder, Print Preview does not have its own menu option in Google Docs. You'll find it underneath the Print option, which is either on the left side of the ribbon or under File at the very bottom of the menu. To learn more tools and features in the Google Suite family of apps, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.